this now because God did in his word. When I open that door, no man can close. And when I close that door, no man can open that door. So the door is now open. And there it is. Come, run the line. That is the dark. Jesus is Lord. And he's God. He's Lord and he's God. Yeah, that's what man thinks and what says. Amen. So he's got to be Father. And as he loves you, we love you too. That is why we here to warn you to flee from the wrong to come. There will be ruling and passion of peace. My people, expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. The earth is a little warning, a little rock the other day. You understand? But trust God. Because every one of us is going to be destroyed. The world is out end. But when your life ends, the world is for you. You can't come back to say, Well, I come again. Come again when? So, this is the appointed time. And after death, it is judgment. After death, not before death. After death, it's judgment, my people. And the time we have said, You are eternity today. Yeah, let me real to this When the book shall be open and your name shall be called, oh, how sad it will be when you take your body and kill them away from heaven for nothing to resolve. Just never all of me Shall we ever all meet again? And the great judgment of all men When the book shall be open And your name shall be called Oh, how sad it will be When you take your departure And turn away from heaven For God's good Just let me die And just room in the heaven You never turn back anyone and he will never turn back no one because he needs all. All to turn away from the wicked way. If my people, if my people are discovered by my name, will humble themselves and pray. Seek my faith and turn away from their wicked way. He said, I will hear from heaven. He said, I will hear from heaven and I will heal your life. Go up on to deliver. God wants to save. You don't want to save that the politicians, you know. You want to save to the other man. He promised, and he has promised his truth. So my people, all the ask of you tonight is repent. Repent of your sin. Be baptized in the remission of your sin, my people. That's the prayer of my heart tonight. Are you washed? Are you washed? It's the blood, it's the blood, it's the truth. Blessed blood of the Lamb. I have the heaven, but flesh and the white are the truth. Are you washed? It's the blood of the Lamb. Just watch now. Tomorrow might be too late. The after might be this. I ready to attack. In a little time, I will come. In a little time, I will give my life to Jesus. But this is your point. Right? Come, my people. Jesus loves you, and we love you too. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I be telling you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Good night, ladies and gentlemen of Sarah Promenade. Hallelujah. We just greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, our soon coming King. I thank you, sister, for that wonderful message. Amen. Hallelujah. It just keeps on getting better and better 
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whether you hear what the voice of God is saying, or you prepare what the voice of God is saying, but it just keeps on getting better and better in Jesus Almighty name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you this night, hallelujah, God, once again for your word, for your strength, for your ability, for your endurance, Lord God. Yes, hallelujah. Lord. For your power, Lord God, and for your might. Hallelujah. Because you have given us it, Lord God. We, hallelujah, we are nothing, Lord God. We are nothing, Lord God. But you know something, hallelujah, to you, Jesus, we are something. Because Amen. We worship you, we, we glorify you, we exalt your holy name. Because for what you have done for us, Lord God, so we thank you on this very day. And we thank you, hallelujah, for the day that we come again, Lord God. And this is why we are here. So let all men know, hallelujah, that your coming is soon, that your coming is sure, almighty God, hallelujah, hallelujah, you don't slack with your promise, because when you promise something, hallelujah, you don't slack with your promise, almighty God, so we know that your word is truth, we know, hallelujah, that your life is truth, Lord God, we know that you are not a myth, and that you are not a fairy tale, and that you are not a story, but you are real, and that's why we will go forth, Hallelujah into the east. That's why we will go forth into the north. That's why we will go forth into the south. That's why we will go forth, hallelujah, into the west. Hallelujah on the highways and the byways. Don't care what men they say about this gospel. Don't care what men they say about Jesus. We know, hallelujah, we know that you are real. And we know that your comment is right, soon. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, hard not to have. The word of God is truth. The word of God is life. The word of God is life. But who is this word? Hallelujah. Who is this word? You know, many will go into the Bible. Hallelujah. And they will read the Bible. And hallelujah. You know, they will read it and read it and read it. And they will still be confused. Hallelujah. They will not get the knowledge. Hallelujah. They will not have the understanding of Jesus Christ. The hallelujah. Our Savior. Our Savior of the world. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. Sunday. You know, I, I went on the beach. And while I was traveling through the maxi or the taxi, hallelujah, there was a discussion that raised up in the, in the taxi. And this man, he was saying that, hallelujah, that, you know, he believed in, in God. And all God is the same God. Hallelujah, the God of the Muslim and the God of the Hindu and the God of each and everyone is the same. Hallelujah, and he's saying that, you know, something, even though that the word was manifest flesh, hallelujah, he is saying that that word was not Jesus. But I'll tell you something, if you read in the same Bible that I was reading, hallelujah, he will say that, that the word, hallelujah, was manifested in the flesh and dwells among men. And that name, hallelujah, that sweet name, Jesus, or that sweet name, Emmanuel, means God among God, hallelujah. But men want to condemn this name. Men want to say that this, this Jesus, hallelujah, he's not the only God, the Son. But I'll tell you something, the Bible is real. The Bible is the basic instruction before leaving this earth. Hallelujah. Men need instruction before they leave this earth. Yes, as much as, much as they want to condemn Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I tell you something. The word of God says that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall swear that Jesus is Lord. They shall shout out that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God said in Revelation chapter 1 verse 7. Hallelujah. Say that even though. Hallelujah. They won't pierce him on the cross. Hallelujah. They will. Hallelujah. They will see that this Jesus. Hallelujah. Could have put that spear in. They will see that Jesus could have put that nail in his hand. They will see that one. Hallelujah. Who bled. Hallelujah. That cross. They will see that one who had the crown of thorns upon his head. That he is the son of God. That he. Hallelujah. Is the lover of the people. He is the salvation bearer. He is the grace bearer. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the light. And no one can come to the Father but by Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. So you can run, you can run. Hallelujah. But you will not be able to hide. On the great judgment day, the word of God says, Hallelujah. The John said, He seen the small and he saw the great. Hallelujah. Standing before the throne of God. Yes. John the Revelator, the one who wrote Revelation, he sees so the great, the, the, the dead, small and great, they stand before Almighty God. So I tell you something, there's a point in time that men, hallelujah, if you're not giving your life to Christ, that you will be church and that you will stand before.
forth, Almighty God. Hallelujah. On that great day. Yes, that day will come. Hallelujah. But God wants you to know something. He wants you to prepare yourself. Hallelujah. He said in the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Hallelujah. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God. Hallelujah. Present your body as a living sacrifice, acceptable and holy unto God, which is a responsible service. So we as men, we as mankind, we have a responsible service to present our body as a living sacrifice, acceptable unto Almighty God. Hallelujah. Jesus said, died for nothing. He died to save your soul and he died to save my soul. Because you know something, hallelujah, Almighty God, see that our soul was important. Almighty God, see that our soul, hallelujah, because he has created us in his own image and in likeness. Hallelujah, so there was something to be done. Because I tell you something, when God brought the blood of life into the nostril of men, hallelujah, of man, hallelujah, he saw that it was good. Hallelujah, and God blew that breath into his nostril and man become a living soul. So what happens there? What takes place there is that men have the soul of Almighty God in them. So that's why God will go to the length and the depth to save a man's soul. Hallelujah. That's the reason why God will go to the length and breath and the depth to save your soul. Because he, he brought that breath of life into your soul and you became a living soul. So that soul is the soul of Almighty God. And I tell you something. Hallelujah. If you are standing for God, who can be against you? I tell you something. If you are a son of God, the demon, hallelujah, will tremble. Hallelujah. When you present the name of Jesus, likewise important to accept Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Many people believe that we come to play games. Many people believe that when Jesus touched down, he played games. But Jesus did not have time to play. Jesus did not have time to laugh. Jesus, he weeps, hallelujah. Because I tell you something, when he went into that place and he kneeled down, hallelujah, because he saw that cup was too heavy for him. He saw that cup was too much for him. He said, Father, hallelujah, if it's not possible, could you take this cup for me, please? I don't want to go there. Hallelujah, but you know something? Afterwards, he recognized that the plan of salvation was done on faith. Hallelujah. He recognized, hallelujah, that if he do not go there, he will be disobeying his father. He recognized that if he didn't go there, he would have been a sinner. But I tell you something, he did not know spot. He did not know blemish. He did not know wrinkles. He was old. Hallelujah, I tell you something. He comes to recognize, he comes to represent the world. Hallelujah. A man of spot and a man of blemish. A man of sin could not represent mankind. But it takes, hallelujah, Jesus. It takes the son of the living God. It takes, hallelujah, a redeemer. It takes, hallelujah, the great woman. It takes the great physician. It takes our rabbi. It takes our teacher. It takes our master to represent mankind. Hallelujah. That's why we will have the shame in praising Jesus Christ. That's why we will have the shame in representing Jesus. Hallelujah. Because if we are shame of him, hallelujah, we, we are saved. Hallelujah. Almighty God. Hallelujah. What you do, hallelujah for us from the foundation of the world. It's not